All right. Um, I don't know. I'm bored, and I just <laughs> I just wanted to do this. So uh, we're going to just watch supposed uh, real footage of, you know, like cryptids and whatnot. Um, I've always kind of been a fan of, you know, stuff like this, but a lot, a lot of it's kind of, you know, fake and whatnot. But I don't know. We'll see. I, you know, I, we'll see. I, I have my own videos on my channel if you want uh it's technically one experience and then i found footprints um so i'll try to find those and link them in the description if you want to watch that but uh again i'm i want to believe but i i don't i you know so test his new atv at a gum hill west virginia i'm gonna turn it down a bit it's on the camera ready to record as he drove up the stream realistic so uh, this so this one's a famous one though. I know this this clip many times before. He sees it. But what are he we gonna that day forever changed him because as he climbed the stream, he saw something terrifying emerge from the dense forest. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there it is, in the middle of the screen right there. The beast of Gum Hill, a seven foot tall Bigfoot monster. Look at dude, stop! Look at point. Look at that! Look at that right there. Attention to its surroundings. Chuck and his son were lost for words and could only marvel at what they'd seen. Okay. I'm to kind of keep it down a little bit. <laughs> I guess I could always just turn it down, turn down my value. Two men drive through so. thick snow during a harsh Siberian winter night. But while it's common to see wildlife in these parts, they're not ready for what's coming their way. All right, so this one's, I haven't seen this one, but this one's Siberia. I don't know if they're in a car or if it's just like a windshield. Things suddenly start feeling different when they see irregularities in the snow, almost like someone's walked through it. But before they can process it, something right before them diverts their attention. What in the world? Out of nowhere, a bipedal beast resembling a small that yeti looks jumps a yeti that looks freaking small that looks like it's two feet tall into the light and rushes through the snow Hang even on. though these folks have trouble believing what they've seen things become clear once they move forward and check the snow for tracks okay so there you can see the footprints are like, kind of like right in front of me i believe that's what that is that I guess they had to be like a far distance away because that thing only looked like two feet tall. So I, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that did not look like a Yeti, but Witness whatever. one of the most terrifying videos ever recorded on a camera as a strange gorilla-like creature emerges from the bushes in Mexico. This is as unsettling as it gets because while it initially appears to be an animal, Things change when the beast moves closer to the camera. Why? Get out of there! What are you doing? <laughs> it's not a face that resembles any animal. No. Why? Why this is a well, you stand here? A witch with a humanoid face who shapeshifts into down. animals and runs around at night, terrorizing local people. Are they? Are they dead? Bro, look at how close they. Are. <laughs> In 2021, a man from Costa Rica <laughs> heard a commotion outside his house with dogs seemingly barking at an intruder, but his curiosity oh. turned into raw fear when he checked the security footage. <laughs> this was no man, neither did it look like an animal. Is no one had lizard? seen a creature like this, crawling on its limbs almost like a spider. What was truly terrifying, though, was that this thing was even bigger than the dogs. I love how the dogs get close to it, but don't do anything to it. Look at how close, look at, look at, hang on, did you see that? Hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Look. All right, so watch this, this, uh, hopefully you can see my mouse. So the dog, the dog will come up to the side. Right here, and there's a little black blob right here, right in the right corner of the video. The dogs are literally going parallel with it. Why? Why? It's not attacking it. Why are they walking parallel with it? You know, that's that's why that's that's why I don't believe a lot of these clips and whatnot is because, like, a dog isn't gonna like, especially if the dog knows the person because they can smell them, they can sense them, and whatever. Like, a dog knows you 
and they know your scent. And if you're around a lot of, you know, certain people, they know their scent too. So they're, they might bark sometimes, but they're not going to like attack, but this thing's going parallel with it, which, you know, whatever. We're, we're here to have fun. We're here to have fun. Imagine marveling at the well, beautiful snow-covered I mean, mountains. I don't know why you don't run. Only to have your reality right shattered your by face, a disturbing but... sight. That's exactly what happened to these folks who thought they were hallucinating. But make no mistake, this is as risk gets. The tall trees on top of the mountains are moving, but not because of any wind. They look like they've come alive and are walking around. While this is creepy, there's also a potential theory behind this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. These could be tree harvesters at work. Deep in the woods, a man hunts yeah. for a cryptid known for stalking visitors. But this creature doesn't show itself to anyone. It hides in the shadows and keeps its distance. There is a magical aura about this place, with zero civilization nearby. Moreover, the man follows the creature's tracks and gets closer to finding it. Little does he know, however, that he's not the one hunting. He's the hunted. Well, then why are you... Dude. The man notices something behind him, and right as he turns around, he sees it. A shadowy, alien-like creature stalking him from behind the trees, fully prepared to jump out and pounce on him. Picture this. You're camping in the woods and everything's peaceful, but you can't help but feel you're being watched. And no then matter you how much you it. try, you can't eliminate that unsettling feeling. And you get out of there. Well, that's exactly what is happened to owl? this man. <laughs> is, is that an owl? Whoa. He's paranoid and starts looking oh, around the area cougar? to see if a predator's there about a to attack lion? him. What he Whatever. sees, however, is no mere beast it's bigfoot but this one's different uh, because this oh. big guy is white unlike why does that look like an ear i i think it might be a mountain lion like most legends maybe i don't know holy shit. now is it blinking or is that bad uh bad quality <laughs> bad like quality i think it's bad white quality. face poking through the bushes just stays there staring back at the man with its black eyes and while there's every possibility it could be a barn owl or even a weirdly shaped tree stump, people believe it's a white Bigfoot. <laughs> so, a, so a Yeti. A white Bigfoot is a Yeti. But why is a Yeti in a forest when it's white? I don't know. Whatever. Just... <laughs> whatever. We're not told that is. I'm, I'm trying to have fun yeah. here. And I'm, it's I, white. It just, whatever. We're just having this fun. This like, comes this from a man returning from his morning run in the woods. As he crossed the bridge into an alley, something strange jumped on him from the wall. However, when he turned around to look at it, the thing was gone. Looks like it tried to jump in front of him, but then it... The man knew he'd felt something jump on top of him, but since he didn't see anything, he decided to go back home and check was the that footage. A, that's a monkey. Only but how does a monkey down, disappear so Did he realize fast? the thing he didn't You can see a tail. Did not resemble any Look at there's there's a tail right here. You can see a tail on the upper upper left here. That's a tail. But how how does a monkey disappear so monkey fast? Never seen. So it's probably an edited video then. Yeah, see a little monkey was hand. It just a monkey or a creature from another world. No one knows. It, how does it disappear Sometimes that fast? So you have to know. fight the intruders, especially if they get too close to your home. Because that's what this man did after he spotted a strange creature lurking in the distance. Nah, you don't you fight that Georgia. thing. That's its land. You stay in your house. <laughs> you stay in your house. <laughs> you, you don't fight that thing. The man is brave, walking toward the creature in the dark. No, no that's not bravery. You're out in the middle of nowhere. It's snowing. It's cold. You're in a freaking wilderness. Yeah, you're in the countryside. Like you don't live close, you know, in a city. That is not bravery. That is stupidity. You, you, you don't do that. Even even if it's like a not a cryptid, if it's like a bear or a cougar or mountain lion, whatever you want to call it, or 
whatever, fr whatever freaking predator, you know, in the world. Like, you don't do that. You don't. This is how, oh, yeah, I'm going to go walk closer to that tiger over there. Oh, you see that lion and that bear? Yeah, let me get closer to it in the dark, in the middle of nowhere, where no one's going to find my body for years if they even find my body maybe maybe the lion or the bear or the tiger is going to rip me to shreds and you know can't even find my body you know i <laughs> why i don't you know it's not it's not bravery it is not bravery i'm telling you it's but as he inches I'm a, closer why, I'm things start to get creepy <laughs> because this is not an animal or human this appears to be a pale crawler <sighs> again i'm trying to have fun and i'm just you know but don't be dumb. Don't go in the woods right, at night. Again, are. even for known With their creatures, humanoid it's bodies like really... and large eyes that glow in the dark, crawlers are meant to be you know, some of the most aggressive creatures. And coyotes, foxes, and mountain lions, and everything around here in the U.S. Yeah, it's around the world. There's other stuff, but I like. He didn't May fight it, by the way. A man riding he a bike with his wife in Muir Woods suddenly heard a strange fox-like scream. But there was an issue. No foxes were in the area. <laughs> That's what they and the sound screams like. <laughs> sounded much deeper than a typical fox. I love a fox's laugh. He looked around the area for a good while until he nailed down the location of the noise. However, when he zoomed in with his camera, he was not ready for what he was about to witness. Seeing a wild animal is one thing, but the man claims he saw a bipedal creature no less than nine feet tall, resembling a Sasquatch. Nine and when he moved up to explore the area, it smelled so bad that his wife threw up. In 2021, a couple from South Jersey heard strange noises from the woods outside their home at night. You're in the freaking woods at night! investigate multiple times, but didn't see anything. However, Everything changed when they reviewed the footage they'd captured. They thought they were just paranoid, since it's common for wildlife to cause a stir and jump around in the bushes. But what they saw did not look like an animal. It was a Jersey Devil. Is it a bear? If that wasn't bad enough, they found even more unsettling evidence in the morning. Huge footprints in their backyard. Did you take a photo of them? Can we see a photo of it? Oh. On April 17th, 2021, a man was strolling around a beach in Florida when he noticed a strange corpse had washed up on the shore. However, while he initially thought it was a fish or a seal, his thoughts changed when he approached it. See? The one thing I will say, there's a lot of, or not a lot, but a good chance that there's the something had bizarre double would be flippers, in the ocean. But even weirder because was that like its we, upper body had an elongated we don't have a lot of, uh, skeleton, good, almost like a mermaid. I, I guess the marines to be able to go really deep. Like, obviously, they're still discovering new stuff, you know, deep in the ocean every day. And it's just harder with the pressure the deeper you the go. The had been on the beach for a while. Take the, so most uh, of it had already decomposed. Uh, what was that sub? And that even though people think it should be a manatee, years ago or a year ago, whatever it or was, even a whale balloon, so the pressure deep no down. one could like figure out what the creature looked like while one, it was still that, alive. One, that was just stupid or whatever. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. But uh, two, like, like there's some, some animals are, you know, adapted to that. So, and there's National parks a can lot be terrifying of, at night. All sorts you know, of animals and, can run around in the bushes. I, I don't, paranoid. was it like, they say 70% of the people in Australia, in Australia was known to animals. Whatever, which I yeah, think here, we noise really not the true because, He was like, walking along the trail in the dark with his friends, <laughs> and he heard a strange <laughs> noise I, I coming the from a nearby tree. And when he turned to look, all his fears became reality. And there is glowing eyes glared right back at him. But again, we're still finding... Oh, technically oh, small oh, the creature, like, uh, some say it was a crawler but your guess is as good like as mine six months or whatever in the, woods, in the Amazon rainforest and never been seen before so cabin. like smaller creatures but while he were, goes you know, out to catch a glimpse of the bird uh, I, and I'm, it, no, I'm talking he about it but that was just in that what's that out of nowhere 
An extreme roar echoes through the woods, almost like a big monster <laughs> screaming in agony. What's okay, even more I'm in the safety of my home making fun of this thing, you know? <laughs> I live in a city, I don't live in the country. <laughs> of course, animals like mountain lions or foxes make weird sounds during mating season, but that what sets true. this roar if, apart from the rest? If you've never, actually, I should. I might do a video on that too. If you've never heard like a mountain lion talk or um, there's a really, really uh, cool video I saw uh, probably about five years ago. I know I saw it on YouTube where there was an elk that was screaming, screaming and people thought it was like a cryptid or whatever. And I'm like, no, no. like if you have an elk, an elk sounds really weird and sounds really crazy. Like it could be a cryptid or whatever too, but like mountain lions, elks, there's, you know, animals out there that can make sounds that you don't hear on a daily basis. And it's because, you know, like we don't see elks a lot unless you like specifically live, I guess, probably like in the plains or like Canada or whatever, because there's not really a lot of places where elks are around here. Mountain lions, again, there's, you know, mountains, you know, there's this places for mountain lions to be more so. Um, so, but you know, it's, it's still rare to like kind of run into those and like hear those sounds. So, but yeah, there's, there's real life animals that can make those weird creepy sounds. Is that it's very deep I and likely that. comes from a big creature, a Bigfoot. <laughs> At the Prairie Spirit Trail in Southeast Kansas, a man goes for his usual night run through the woods, but halfway through, he senses that he's being watched, and when he turns his flashlight toward See, the tree, there's, there's it all unravels. Here. There's lights here, there's the light there. Sometimes, like, I don't know. when you look at the darkness, it looks back at you. And that's exactly what happens to this man, who sees several creepy glowing eyes staring right back at him through the branches. Are these deer, or something else entirely? Oh, what, deer can, uh, deer, owls can reflect. In 2018, a woman in North Carolina kept hearing strange noises at night outside her house, and when she walked out, everything in her yard was trashed. But Why would after you... the same thing happened three nights in a row, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Her dog was barking, and the neighbors had come outside to see the commotion. However... When she got down, the thing destroying her yard was nowhere to be seen. Well, at least that's what she thought anyway. I thought I heard those noises again. I heard them last night. I, uh... They looked around the area for a few minutes and returned to their homes later after not finding anything. But upon re-watching the footage and slowing it down, they discovered something terrifying. Hand. Oh, 14 minutes on this ready. In 2016, people at a South American gas station were going about their business early in the morning when they noticed something strange floating in the air, slowly approaching their location. Fog. The paranormal object was near the ground levitating like an extraterrestrial being. Of course, the gas station workers wouldn't sit back and watch it sizzle by, so they decided to investigate. You got some... Like, Mustering it's survival of the approach fittest. a paranormal object was already hard enough, <laughs> but the gas station workers were not prepared for what it was about to do when they approached Charge it. Them. Because right. as soon as they got close, it flew up. Ahí es donde vuela. Se puede ver clarita sus patitas. If you think you've seen scary, then you're wrong because this right here is arguably one of the creepiest things ever recorded on camera. Imagine hearing the strangest nah. sound you've ever heard outside your window. <laughs> and when you look outside, it's a humanoid monster flying over your car and slowly inching towards you. Close that window. You it's going to open straight it again. out of a horror movie. 
But the thing levitating and making strange sounds isn't even the scariest part. Because the way it looks back after it spots the person recording is enough to You're send shivers dying. down your spine. In August 2023, a man driving well, that could be a person on a, uh, in Central Oregon uh, was like caught completely off guard by a shimmering light in the distance. When he stopped what? to look, however, he realized it wasn't just a light, but a creature. Technical difficulties. Uh oh. Okay. It first appeared to be a mountain good. lion with big pointy ears <laughs> and good. glaring eyes. But there was a problem. The pointy things weren't ears at all. They looked like antlers. Not to mention, the beast appeared much bigger than a mountain lion. Oh yeah, let's go find it. <laughs> this footage comes from a man visiting Lake Champlain in Vermont. He was sitting in the park, eating his lunch, and enjoying the gorgeous view when he mm. noticed something that was not quite right about the lake. In the distance, he could see a dark spot in the lake that looked odd, almost like something was casting a shadow on it. However, this wasn't a shadow. Something massive was floating underneath the surface. Probably a fallen tree or something. I guess it's kind of floating down the river. The bizarre thing was that the dark spot wasn't even stationary. It kept moving around as if something was swimming under the surface. And guess what? School of fish. The following footage comes from a trail I camp set up in Queensland, Australia. Fish do that? At first glance, nothing interesting happens in this spot as a deer runs by. However, a much more disturbing reality reveals itself when you look closer. As the deer passes the trail cam, a strange silhouette starts moving in the footage's top right corner. As the seconds pass, it becomes clear that this creature has never been seen. The strange creature resembles a cow, but cows don't roam around in this part of the woods. What's even stranger is that the creature stalks a deer, which is uncharacteristic of any animal of this stature. Okay, first of all, there are cows in forest. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. Oh shoot! Oh, I thought it just. <laughs> there, there are farmers that allow cows to roam in parts of forests. There are. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen a gated off area with a bunch of cows, black and white spotted cows, all over. I know it's not technically spots, whatever. That's just completely like. I'm not even a scientist. Like I'm not. I don't. I'm just an average person, and I have seen cows in a forest. I have seen them like down there, uh, move them to the forest. But like, come on, come on. No cows in a. F Are you kidding me? In October 2023, uh. a man in Fishkill, New York, heard a loud noise outside his house in the woods. But while he was ready to see animals causing a stir, he wasn't prepared for what he would witness. Where's your freaking bath light? You say they're disappearing. Two pairs of glowing eyes were looking back at him in the dark. Of course, it's normal for wild animals to do that as well. But what set these creatures apart was that they were nestled high up in the trees, and their eyes were really wide. This is like in the... There's been a few of them. It's like they did fly into the woods. They fly back out. The strange creatures keep hopping everywhere, almost like jumping between the trees or flying. However, the way they keep staring at the camera despite their movement is unnerving. It's looking at me. Jesus Christ, that is a thing. That's a Why is your back light not on? It is super. Blackbird is a state forest in Delaware, and it's one of the scariest places you could ever visit, not only because of the creepy things people find in it, 
but also because you never know if you're being watched. The forest is home to some strange creatures, some of which are paranormal. This video is the perfect showcase because something ducks behind it. Camera pans to a wood box in the open area. <laughs> Go stand behind that wood box right there and I'll uh, panic you. In 2008, around. friends were filming their boating trip to the Upper Mackenzie River in Oregon. However, they found something deeply disturbing in the footage they recorded during their trip. Bigfoot on a the video is extremely shaky and unstable, with the river flowing quickly. Yet, if you divert your attention to the left side of the screen, you'll notice a massive brown figure standing up in the bushes and walking away. The real terrifying thing is that there have been several Bigfoot sightings in that area. At a national park in Washington, tourists are busy walking around their forest cabin at night. What they don't realize, though, is that they're being watched and their lives could potentially be in danger. Bro, man, Two that's glowing far eyes away menacingly look back at that's the That's not far the away, bro. <laughs> and they're not something you'd see on an animal either. This is either a Sasquatch or worse, a Dogman, one of the most terrifying cryptids. Uh, Saskatchewan, Canada yeah. is home to some of the creepiest encounters ever recorded, and this one's no different. The person recording spots something strange in the wilderness outside their cabin. They keep shining a light on the air because they've seen a creature there, but they're not quite sure what they're huh? looking at. The thing appeared humanoid. However, it wasn't a Sasquatch or anything dangerous like a skinwalker. This thing was in a whole different league. I don't see anything. Oh, now I see. Is that a freaking guy in an orange ja uh, hunting jacket? There's a myth in several cultures regarding little people who live in the shadows and play with horses. And chances are this little creature is very similar, except it's willing to emerge into the light and reveal itself. It's, it's over here. What the hell is that? In August 2024, Richard and Kelly Tabor went to Lake Champlain know. to shoot their film, Lucy and the Lake Monster. Oh, yeah, it was right meant to be an adventure that followed a young girl on her quest to prove the existence of Champ, the Champlain Lake Monster. When they returned to the studio to review the footage they'd captured, however, they discovered something extraordinary in one of the drone shots. Right, right there. Right here. In the bottom right part of the video, they spotted a big creature swimming behind their boat, and they couldn't believe what they'd captured while shooting the film, because as it turns out, Champ was with them on their journey all along. In 2014, wildlife biologist Miles Lamont hiked to the top of Tricuni Peak in Canada. Yeah, wildlife However, biologist. what caught his attention was not the breathtaking view, but something he spotted on the slope of the mountain. Man. Pretty sure it's just Sasquatch down there. Oh my god. I can't really see it very well. There's this little black dot walking. Of course, no human would walk in the middle of a snow covered mountain like that. And well, since the creature idiots. was bipedal, it wasn't an animal either. So Miles concluded that he was seeing a Sasquatch in action. Uh, for sure. For the guy sure. that wanted to get lost. I don't know. <laughs> The most bizarre thing about what he saw wasn't that a creature like that was casually walking around at a 2,000 meter tall mountain, but the fact that it was effortlessly climbing the slope, almost as if it had superhuman strength. Can't bring up snow lines. It's no big deal. I don't. In 2020, a man was streaming live on social media, telling his viewers he'd seen a strange creature in his backyard, and he was convinced it was real going as far as to promise video evidence of it. What in the world? Why does that thing look He thought he'd get up and show tall. everyone where he first saw the creature. But as he went into his backyard to recall his strange experience, the creature decided to show up again. Uh, 
The creature he talked about went by quickly and took a lot of work to notice. But of course, it didn't take much to slow down the footage and see things clearly. And well, that's exactly what people did. See things clearly. <laughs> You know how bad the quality of the video already is, first of all. But... Ostrich, Suppose. cigarette smoke, or something else entirely. To this day, no one knows. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night and peeking outside your cabin in the woods, only to witness an extremely disturbing sight. Well, that's exactly what happened to this man, who was not ready for what he was about to see outside his window. What the f is that? What the f is that in the woods? The red-eyed creature stalked them. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's great. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, it's, just, it's just something fun. It's just something, you know, that... The unknown, I guess. I guess that's that's the main thing with me, is, is the unknown. Um, and you know, I've had my own like ghost encounter technically. And again, if I'll link that video and then uh, I'll put the video also of, uh, where I found, uh, you know, humanoid tracks, Bigfoot tracks, whatever you want to say. Um, actually when I was in South Dakota, so my, my ghost store actually been literally right outside my house, right across the street when I was waiting for the bus. Um, so yeah. So if you want to, you know, learn like my real encounters, um, I was what? 12 years old when that happened right across the street here and then uh, i have pictures of the uh footprints which i you know obviously put in the video because it's proof like it's like something there not i'm you know i don't you know it's, like I, even i kind of doubt myself and say oh like you know what actually is that um you know like why would people be walking around in you know south dakota in the badlands barefoot um but like the at the time my my like i was 18 19 at the time and like my shoe or my, my foot was about that because my shoe length was just like a tad bit bigger than the footprints, which means like my feet would have fit perfectly, like uh, equal length with those. So like, I don't know, like I, maybe some, you know, high schooler my age was just like, hey, let's just walk around barefoot for a little bit. I don't know. But, you know, I don't it's it's the unknown. It's, you know, something of like, I guess, like being discovered and something that just doesn't sit you know, with, I guess, the normal society of how, you know, things are like, you know, you, you can get all these videos on online. It's like, okay, well, I don't really, a lot of them you can kind of debunk like that, that floating ghost thing, which you, by the way, you just peer, peer in the curtain back and suddenly, whoo, here it comes down, <laughs> down from the trees, maybe a little pulley system or whatever. Cause you can like clearly see uh, it's either a woman or it's someone that put a wig on and was like, Hey, like, you know, cause you can clearly see all, all the, features of that so like, i don't you know <laughs> something like that's like okay i don't know if i believe that you, you know especially because you just get glimpses real quick of it so uh but you know there might be stuff in the forest we don't know about i you know there's i i wholeheartedly believe there's stuff in the ocean we don't know about like i i i'm not man enough to go in the ocean you you think i'm man enough to go down there no that is not a human element. We we are designed for land. We are not designed for water. Like <laughs> there's too many things I can go wrong. Like if you've ever seen like people that work on uh was it like the oil oil uh, rigs or whatever, or people that work on the ships, like the cargo ships that go around the world. Uh was it the North Sea, I think it's called, where you do those waves are like bouncing up and down taller than cargo ships, which are freaking sixty feet tall and crap. Like, no thanks. Like they they we built stuff specifically to handle like heavier or um yeah not heavier weather uh, but like harder weather and harder conditions and whatnot and it still just makes them look like little toys like that's i'm good <laughs> i'm good i do not want to mess with the ocean i don't want to go down there if there's some sea monster down there good let, let it stay down there do not you don't have to come on to land buddy you're you're good if there's mermaids down there that's that's fine you know <laughs> I, I don't want to get eaten by a mermaid I, I don't know if they go for the head first or whatever i'm sure they you know i kiss you and then just take your face off or so i don't know <laughs> i don't know but like I, I i i'm sure there's probably like you know creatures that we, again we don't see either because they live deeper uh in the water or further out where you know we don't explore like constantly every day like obviously if you're like right off the coast 
and you're in the, you know, like a coral reef or whatever. I'm, I'm getting on a tangent. Now I'm getting on a tangent. Um, but you're like deeper water. I'm sure there might be like stuff that lives there um, and doesn't always need to come up for air. Um, so, but like, as you know, for earth, like, I, I don't know. I, I think that, you know, Bigfoot's obviously plausible. I think it really is. But like, I, I don't have definitive as evidence. Like I, again, I found footprints that could have been like anything. Like it's not. I'm not saying it's a bigfoot. I'm just saying like, hey, like I found some weird footprints on my vacation to South Dakota. It was just it's really cool at the time. But um, like I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not saying it's a cryptid or anything. So I, I, I just I don't know. I think ghosts are probably plausible. Um, I got I, I I guess like I you know I might have seen a squirrel, which you know which I couldn't see at the time, but. I looked in that tree pretty, pretty good. I mean, that, that tree came down in a storm about a year after that in my story. So, <laughs> or a year after it happened to me. Um, and I talk about that in my story too, but I, I don't know. Like it's, it's, it's plausible. I think ghosts are pretty or more realistic than uh, a lot of other stuff out there. Um, you know, shine in the darkness Maybe something like a deer or a uh, uh, owl. I I don't know. Uh, so it's it's just it's a lot of unknown. It's a lot of you know I I don't like a lot of stuff that's just plausible. That's why people can't really prove stuff and don't really prove it. But I think you know most known is Bigfoot. I think it easily you know Bigfoot could easily live in the woods. I think there's definitely sections where we you know there's not enough people to kind of you know constantly be around and be like hey like we can just live in a forest like. Oh, west, a uh, western U.S., Canada, a lot, lot of spots in Canada. I mean, Alaska. There's like nothing really. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. So, like, sea, like closer to the sea, um, where they have a lot of like bigger cities, um, as opposed to you know further out in the woods or whatever. Um, so, may, again, that's why I think it's like plausible, like especially kind of like northern North America, definitely to have some. Um, but yeah, so I, again, it's just, it's fun to do this stuff. It's kind of fun to kind of just like critique stuff and, you know, talk about stuff like uh, at work, I'll sometimes listen to stories, but it's like stories just doesn't do it for me. Um, Like anyone can tell a story. Like if there's no, I mean, technically I told a story on here. Technically, you know, again, I, I, I have, I don't have proof on me, but like the, the tree's gone. Like I, I don't, there might've been a, you know, there might be something haunting that tree or something. I don't know. I don't know. But like, even I'm technically good telling a story um the only real evidence is footprints that i don't even know what they are so <laughs> um but like stories are just you know they can be true they can be fake so i i don't i don't know but um i'm gonna wrap up there we're 38 minutes into this again it was a 26 minute video but i just wanted to, you know i'm gonna do something different again we're doing a lot of different stuff on this channel um and yeah we're having fun with it again if you want more of these uh there's you know you could, i could talk about like the original um, uh, Patterson, uh, Gilmore film. I was a passing Gilmore. I don't remember. Whatever the Bigfoot film. There was a, a original dog man film from the seventies, which I stumbled upon, which honestly looks fake to me. Like it really is fake, but I, I could do kind of like some most famous, uh, videos and stuff like that for cryptids and whatnot. We could do that too. Again, I'm going to do like cougar sounds and like elk song, uh, song uh, sounds, not songs. Uh, well, just stuff like that. I'll find some videos and kind of like patch stuff together. Um, because if you've ever heard, if you've never heard like a cougar or like an elk or something like that, like it's, it's scary. And you think it's not like a real animal that can do that. So um, definitely would love to do a video on that. So for now, though, like the video, share it around. Um, subscribe to the channel as we can do more stuff like this. We can do more stuff, uh, you know, like I've done with, you know, extinct animals and dinosaurs. Um, you know, we can do, or I'm, I'm going to get a history video. Out. I've been talking about this for a while. I'm going to get one out. I'm sorry. I know it's been, a, you know, we're going to get it. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it because I could just do like certain battles or certain eras or whatever, but like some of those are going to be like an hour long. I don't want to sit through an hour long video because then I'm going to stop and talk through it. So I might just do like a two party for those. I don't figure it out. I'm going to do a whole bunch of this stuff. And then we're going to cover some football too as well. So I'm out of here though.